Ну, это рот. А, подождите. Да, вы будете в трансляции. Да. Dear ladies and gentlemen, we are happy to be here at this forum. Step in the future. Techno-economy. Ага, супер. Вас слышно тоже очень хорошо, но все супер. Спасибо.
Раз, 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 два, три. I cannot, I cannot uh, translate without the mic, without the microphone. Do I need a microphone? Just in case you need it. Okay. Uh, so Mikhail uh, Kostyun is here. I cannot hear without the microphone. Завистка, да, пришла. Мы будем кричать на солнце, попросим говорить про микрофон, потому что это все рассказывается и у нас привычка. Хорошо. Будем прямо.
Dear colleagues, um, let's start um, the work of our session today because um, we uh, don't have so much time and maybe um, we have quite a lot of speakers. Uh, also, we will have um, this session of questions and answers. So that's why let's start. <coughs> Kostyuk uh, Mikhail Fedorovich uh, will speak um, about uh, legal methods uh, of uh, protection of different uh, legal violations in financial sphere. Uh, the um, deputy department, um, Fatyanov um, Alexei, head of the chair of state law and criminal law disciplines, the technology of blockchain, um, uh, when we implement it into um, organization or between the organization, uh, head of the um, uh, Chair of State Law and Criminal Law Disciplines um, of Plikhanov Russian University of Economics, Dr. Vlo, Professor. I have several slides. Um, please, c could you show the first slide? This is the second one, but I need the first one. Well, while our um, assistants uh, try to find the first one, the first slide. I will start with the, the following. Is it okay now? Okay, I will start um, with uh, the um, origin of this problem. The problem which we can call blockchain is quite ancient, you know. Uh, it's already 200 years old. And the problem, first of all, uh, is very important for legal um, sector. What uh, did we have to do? We needed to do, we needed to um, consider different values, um, inventory and uh, some other objects of economic turnover. And during uh, a long period, mankind, advanced mankind, uh, was trying to get out of this. Um, uh, it um, studied some um, accounting books, but then there was a question. In any accounting book, there are so many pages, and maybe we need to number these pages, first of all. But if even these pages are numbered, uh, still we have to replace them. Then uh, the second idea popped up. So um, book, uh, books um, uh, should uh, uh, be also, um, uh, so the pages should be also attached together. For example, you can see this book. You can see that uh, the pages are attached to each other. And on the back of this, uh, uh, it's written that also all pages are numbered. And also here we have a stamp. The main uh, idea is um, to have a stamp. And then uh, coming from this, uh, I can't uh, get out pages from it, from this book um, uh, without uh, spoiling this step. In this case, we receive a very important uh, um, accounting document which has legal value. Now um, let's uh, look at electronic um, way and um, we can see that the problem becomes um, even more complicated here. And uh, here we have this nice word, or um, actually it's a complex of programs, or a set of programs which is called blockchain. What is um, the meaning of blockchain? Let, let, uh, let me first of all uh, speak about the, the main principles of blockchain. Openness for all uh, participants. Blockchain, uh, uh, the, um, uh, you know, meaningful blockchain uh, which appeared, it was uh, Bitcoin. And uh, next slide, I will show you how it works. Uh, so it's open for all participants. This register, this book should have very many copies which simultaneously are um, filled, filled in. And all participants know what's happening in this system and how uh, the objects are moving here, service uh, or things 
then um, it is not it is not um, changed. And um, here, of course, uh, we use uh, mathematics, um, and mathematics provides for um, uh, this um, absence of changes. Uh, speaking about distribution, I mentioned about it. Uh, and on the basis of all these principles, we receive uh, the program, the program which um, um, solves this um, issue, which we have. Next uh, slide, please. We're speaking about advanced technologies. What's happening? Why can't we see the second slide? Okay, well, how um, uh, is blockchain working? Here we have two um, mathematical ideas. Uh, the first uh, one, cryptography with an open key. But I, I, w I don't want to go into details about this one because it's not the main thing. And as you can see here on this slide, so what's happening here? At one uh, point of time, in each cryptocurrency, it's happening differently. But in blockchain, uh, for example, we need to solve a very difficult mathematical solution. And then you uh, receive... Um, uh, to open a block message. What is a, a block? A block is a page. And uh, during some time, some certain time, you need to add to um, have entries of all transactions. Who transacted what, how much. And uh, this is um, a quite a complicated task. And miner receives a, a reward. Uh, 0 0.6, uh, 25 bitcoins, or 12.5 12 and uh, earlier. And um, in the future, it will be even less. Uh, also, it ha it can he can have um, the reward of those people who writes, um, who are writing their trans transactions. These blocks are distributed to all participants for checking automatically. The program sends all these messages to them. Then um, they check all these transactions. And if everything is right, uh, participants, each participant uh, writes this block in, its, uh, in his copy of database. And then um, this block can be added um, into the chain of blocks. Everything's fine. Money is transacted. Um, and um, uh, this uh, transaction takes uh, maybe from several hours uh, to several days. It's not quick. And the main thing here is that um, how can we provide uh, uh, safety and non-repeatability uh, 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 non of this block? And here we have uh, old mathematical technology which is called um, hashing. And I will speak about this technology. It was invented quite long ago, maybe uh, uh, last century, uh, maybe 1960s. Um, we, uh, we had uh, da databases, a lot of information, and we uh, wanted to search for some certain information in the library. And for this, uh, this information uh, needed a unique number, which, is call, which was called um, Hessian. Hessian is uh, very similar to archiving. Uh, it's very similar to um, different zips um, and there are files. And if zip files and rar files uh, give us uh, different volumes uh, of information, uh, hash always has uh, the one and the same uh, volume of information. It's the same. This amount of symbols or less amount of symbols. 
Uh, this is the first thing. And the second one, if in the text, um, for example, we we can uh, change something in the uh, in the novel uh, War and Peace, uh, uh, you know, the hash will be uh, the same. And secondly, it is clear uh, that uh, when um, we have this hash amount, uh, it's not possible to restore the initial text. Um, after the compression, we can do this, um, uh, but here it's not possible. Uh, it's um, not possible to decompress it. Uh, okay, I won't go into details here, but um, if in the initial text uh, we change even one symbol hash amount will be hash sum will be very different it will be it will be the same length but it will be different and this is a very important property in this case uh, if in block we change at least one symbol hash sum of the block will be different and how can we achieve it we achieve it with um, this this block in which um, we um, produce now um, different entries have entries it's it starts uh, with the hash sum which um, was in the previous block in this case we have the mathematical connection of the same chain besides the first block uh, because it does not have this um, hash sum of the previous block and um, so when we finish uh, processing of information in the block we hash this uh, and we transfer this uh, to the next block so if we have um, to change some th some information in the previous block we need uh, to look at all copies at all previous all previous blocks and um, now it's not possible even theoretically we have uh, accounting electronic accounting um, through very quite simple technology and where can we apply this besides cryptocurrency next slide please so initially it was uh, shown uh, to uh, public um, in blockchain bitcoin but application of these blockchains um, can be very variable uh, and it won't be copies of blockchain but uh, we can have a lot of blockchains without any problems and uh, if in blockchain bitcoin it's a distributed system there are no bosses no subordinates everybody's equal there but in some other blockchains still we can have administrators and um, if we want to provide um, credibility we need to copy this uh, many times and um, administrator should not um, for example change it um, and um, we can um, for example um, have um, a lot of things in electronic way um, for example now we have a lot of paper documents pa paper documents um, and they are stored somewhere um, but we can transfer everything in electronic way for example pdf files um, please, um, we have some other speakers, uh, please. Uh, okay, health, uh, insurance of health, uh, property, also electronic uh, medical cards, uh, turnover of um, money, transactions, and also um, legal documents. Uh, they also can be used in blockchain. Uh, we, can, um, we can have accounting for these um, legal documents and also those documents which have some uh, confidentiality and uh, property movement uh, the turnover of which uh, is limited what does it mean it means um, uh, movement of weaponry from owner to owner drug um, trafficking uh, for example which are included in legal turnover and so on and so forth application for this um, not complicated technology um, the spheres of applications um, is uh, very varied and uh, we can thank here uh, 
uh, we can thank here uh, American technologies and Hessian, um, hash technology was also invented by one American scientist and blockchain uh, uh, was born in Silicon Valley and uh, uh, the um, uh, the scientists, academics in the United States uh, gave uh, the world a very interesting technology, blockchain. Thank you very much. Uh, maybe you have some questions uh, to our speaker. I cannot hear the question without the microphone. The Professor Bucherov, Moscow University. Um, um, this system of accounting which you demonstrated uh, and possibility of having different electronic registers, for example, medical cards. Very often we have the need to enter some changes there regarding um, uh, the uh, period of time um, uh, before we had this necessity. For example, the baby uh, had some d disease. Um, and there was diagnosis, for example, uh, asthma, and then uh, the child, um, um, you know, became, um, <clears throat> for example, um, for example, he, and, uh, so for example, uh, then uh, uh, he, the child says, um, I did, I do not have asthma, uh, but uh, in this medical card, uh, it's written that he had. Uh, uh, this asthma and now it means for example uh, that he cannot serve um, um, in uh, the state service for example he cannot uh, work uh, uh, in different um, uh, positions uh, because uh, he has this entry in this medical card um, uh, how can we change uh, this entry how do you think practically speaking uh, yes, uh, there is the medical card, uh, and uh, we can just, um, uh, you know, um, remove these pages. But of course, uh, it's not legal. Uh, and um, uh, the medicine, uh, uh, the medical, um, you know, <clears throat> workers um, uh, should um, say uh, that this is uh, not right anymore. This diagnosis is not right anymore, and a new medical card is needed. Okay, so to change some. Uh, um, not correct um, thing, not correct entry, uh, maybe it was made by mistake. Uh, to correct this uh, small mistake, um, we need to create uh, a new structure, institutes, um, uh, and uh, people should uh, undergo this procedures once again. In this um, new block, um, uh, should be done, uh, should be another, so another entry should be done. I think uh, all problems have solutions, um, and if we have um, uh, some cases, um, we can have some legal solutions. Uh, so, okay, we have the next speaker, um, Zharova uh, Anna, senior researcher of the Institute of State and Law of the Russian Academy of Sciences, director of the Center for Cyberspace Studies, Higher School of Economics, Doctor of Law, associate professor. Uh, dear colleagues, can I uh, also uh, see my presentation? First of all, I would like to say uh, um, uh, so that, that um, we don't have much time. I will have five minutes um, for my presentation. I can say that um, all technologies have so um, all all technologies are not really reliable and uh, there are risks and threats in each technology. Uh, for example, in blockchain, there are also risks. Um, and um, for example, you can rewrite the whole um, uh, chain of blocks for another participant. And this um, uh, task is called um, uh, Byzantine Generals. Um, all the developers admit this, um, they know about this, they try to circumvent it and to prevent this um, uh, this possibility of rewriting of this set. It's just an example of this, uh, that there are no um, absolutely reliable technologies. Um, but um, there are such risks, um, and I would like to speak about cyber attacks, cyber security, and I would like to speak uh, about the threats which can occur when we have uh, these cyber attacks. Okay, next slide. Computer attacks. Um, here you can see the determination. Uh, the definition of um, these cyber attacks um, um, and um, 
computer attacks and cyber attacks are the same. It was uh, defined uh, in the federal system uh, for aviation security. And um, in this system, uh, this um, uh, term is, is used, um, uh, cyber attacks. Uh, please, next uh, slide. What is the problem here? The problem is that when we uh, speak about some relations in this uh, um, information technology sector, we should focus all also on te technological sector. And when lawyers say uh, that um, we should not really understand this technology, but if we regulate relations which we have uh, this uh, in this sphere, we need to understand this technolo technological uh, things. Now, because without understanding them, we cannot regulate relations um, and um, relations will come from technologies, technologies but not um, like um, the state <coughs> needs it. That's why um, we need to consider these um, technological nuances and also we need to have some norms which um, uh, should um, envisage who will be responsible uh, if there is an attack or threat. So here the problem uh, the problem is confirmed and uh, the question is uh, uh, since uh, the attacks come from the territory of a certain state then uh, the right question to be put is uh, that uh, states must be responsible for the incidents uh, that might have occurred in this sphere uh, I'd like to say that uh, requirements and norms uh, are just being formed and uh, technically speaking uh, it is uh, quite hard to identify the source of uh, the computer attack it's hard uh, to identify uh, the technologies or the sources uh, or the person uh, which uh, was guilty uh, if uh, this is something uh, coming uh, from the uh, partners which are not uh, partners to us, we cannot bring that person to responsibility. So what can we do? Uh, this is the subject of international law, and currently uh, this task has been uh, set in the level of the United Nations Organization, and they're trying to solve it, but it's quite hard to solve it. So here are the problems, and the next thing is uh, if uh, for the international law the role of uh, the state is very important, then uh, the influence the influence uh, uh, great influence comes uh, from uh, individuals and uh, here are some examples. Here in uh, 2021 uh, the of activities uh, of uh, digital net uh, is connected uh, with the persons uh, from the Russian internet, uh, Runet, and uh, they are supposed to identify themselves uh, and uh, uh, proceed uh, only after they uh, proceed the regulations uh, which are set herein. Uh, so uh, the entry point, uh, the uh, uh, exit point, uh, from the network uh, routiers uh, and the uh, technological parameters uh, are linked to the territory of the Russian Federation in connection with this law. Uh, but this is uh, not a novice in any way. Uzbekistan and uh, Belarus uh, have uh, 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 followed this path. Uh, back in 2010, uh, Belarus uh, connected uh, uh, the illegal entities to their territory and obliged them uh, to uh, carry out activities uh, from the Belarus territory only. And China is the same, so um, so far this is the only option uh, to, uh, to uh, provide uh, for the effect of such regulation. Uh, so the main actors here are either individuals or legal entities 
uh, or communities, different communities, which uh, may also be distributed along the network territory whilst uh, uh, being uh, uh, located in different uh, countries, uh, yet being united uh, in the Tor networks. Uh, it is quite hard then to identify such uh, actors, such uh, participants. Do I still have time? Yes. So that's what I mentioned already. Uh, the conclusion which I would like to make uh, is uh, that rules uh, of uh, behavior in the uh, uh, digital uh, sphere must be defined. Uh, so when we uh, speak about it, uh, we unite uh, uh, legal and uh, technical uh, experts, and they say that we can uh, mark or at least uh, put uh, those technologies in the network uh, so that uh, the uh, uh, person violating uh, or harming the technological structure of the state uh, uh, knew already that he entered uh, the wrong field uh, and uh, is uh, under the uh, scope of responsibility in accordance uh, with national and international law regulations. Uh, so uh, the solution of uh, this issue is uh, quite complex, and it proves once again that uh, the norms uh, of, uh, of law regulations uh, must be uh, uh, embraced. Uh, for the information and communications technology, and uh, they must uh, take the specifics uh, into consideration, and only then we can have some result. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, I see already that uh, we have some questions uh, from the hall. Uh, yes, uh, please use the microphone, because otherwise uh, we will not be able to record it. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Olga Suban from uh, Tekanova. University. I have uh, two small questions. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, is there any uh, um, concept uh, of uh, uh, duration of a crime? And also, if uh, uh, since uh, you've mentioned uh, the role of the state in terms of uh, attacks on digital markets, uh, uh, which uh, the state may represent. Uh, what are the mechanisms existing today? So in terms of uh, duration of a cry, uh, I'll try to answer it as much as I can. Um, if this is a, uh, a period of prescription, of, um, uh, there is a digital law uh, covering uh, communications and informations uh, uh, that depends on the consequences uh, of uh, that uh, digital attack. Uh, you were mentioning economy. So what do you mean by that? Uh, do you mean the critical and information infrastructure or what else? Uh, in any case, uh, the attack will be targeted. It will target something precisely. I don't think it is possible to attack the entire economy. Uh, this would be a total of uh, infrastructures, and each infrastructure is responsible for something. And then uh, attacking or hacking that infrastructure would involve certain consequences. And uh, depending on uh, what kind of consequences, uh, uh, we can uh, assign a certain uh, qualification uh, to the malaction. Um, it is quite hard to assess it now, uh, but uh, uh, as a part of uh, my uh, speech. Uh, basically, there is no such critical infrastructure in the information and uh, computer sphere. We have such infrastructures uh, linked uh, with the state, with the country. But uh, so far, if we speak about internet as a whole, uh, there is just a set of uh, uh, directions uh, of field in which organizations uh, function, which uh, have uh, that uh, critical informational infrastructure. But as to whether 
internet as such is a critical infrastructure that is not uh, specified in our laws. So as we analyze and compare uh, rules and regulations, uh, we can uh, make the conclusion that uh, basically uh, violation of functioning of uh, uh, key uh, may uh, uh, involve the same uh, damage uh, as any other infrastructure. Okay, let's continue our conference and uh, uh, at the end uh, we can uh, speak one to one. Uh, whoever is interested, uh, um, uh, uh, Mikhail, the professor of the Department of the State Law and Criminal Law Disciplines and uh, chair of Plekhanov Russian University of Economics, uh, doctor of law and professor. Dear friends, uh, hello. I will, I like to speak live uh, and I will just uh, uh, share my thoughts with you. Same as every one of us, uh, I have, uh, I'm restricted in time. I'll try to be as concise as possible, here to cover all the contents. So first and foremost, uh, the theme which was uh, announced, uh, why is it vital? Uh, the place of uh, this uh, theme, among other themes, it's a theoretical and uh, practical significance. How important and uh, how vital is it? I think this theme is very vital. And uh, the significance of it uh, is uh, determined uh, by the fact that our today's uh, reality is uh, inextricably linked uh, with uh, financial relations. Uh, moreover, dear friends, uh, this uh, sphere is uh, the subject uh, of interest uh, for uh, financial people, uh, for economists and uh, lawyers. Uh, uh, consequently, this is an interdisciplinary theme. And how well do we possess this uh, uh, complex knowledge, this comprehensive knowledge? How well do our students uh, have uh, possess uh, this uh, interdisciplinary knowledge? Uh, let me uh, uh, state a hypothesis. Uh, I'm afraid uh, not too well, and I hope I'm mistaken. Uh, but uh, if I'm not mistaken, it would be expedient uh, to organize uh, the way it is done in the Moscow State University to organize uh, uh, interdepartmental uh, classes or courses where experts would uh, touch upon or, or tackle the uh, problems of uh, interdisciplinary type but those uh, which are vital and significant uh, today. So coming from word to action, uh, such a line of um, you know, scientific uh, uh, knowledge as a financial research, is it um, vital? Yes, it is. Uh, it is vital for business. Uh, the second uh, uh, line of uh, uh, scientific uh, learning, which is subjective in my view, uh, and uh, which can still be significant, uh, uh, that's uh, legal consequences uh, of uh, uh, taking uh, management decisions uh, in the economy in the combination of uh, economics, uh, management, and law. And uh, here, I mean, uh, administrative, uh, criminal, and uh, civil laws. And uh, uh, thirdly, uh, what I'd like to draw your attention to, that's a very simple thing, the efficiency of activities. And here, it is hard for me to say the activities of who. And uh, there is a grounding for that. The activities of law enforcement uh, bodies, 
or other parties concerned, uh, other subjects of economy, of economic activities uh, and law enforcement activities. I think that defining the criteria of such efficiency would cover all of those. So uh, what should we pay attention to in this case? First and foremost, uh, we should look at the efficiency uh, at the uh, causes and uh, conditions, uh, the factors and uh, determining conditions uh, which contribute to uh, law violations in this sphere. But on the other hand, uh, dear friends, uh, we are not interested in just some abstract notions. Uh, we're interested in uh, uh, reimbursement uh, of uh, damage uh, caused uh, by law violations. The next uh, aspect, my dear friends, which I would like to draw your attention to is the fact uh, that uh, preventive activities in the financial sphere is uh, performed by different subjects. First and foremost, uh, law enforcement bodies, and I'm speaking about uh, the bodies of uh, the Interior Affairs, uh, Prosecutor's Office, and Courts. Uh, secondly, uh, Rosfin Monitoring, that's a Russian financial monitoring agency, which is uh, specialized in the uh, prevention of uh, uh, law uh, breaking. Which is focused on the prevention of uh, illegal turnover of uh, monetary main means. Uh, thirdly, the Ministry of Finance and also a Federal Customs Service, which is subordinate to the Ministry of Finance and coordinates uh, the sphere of activities. Yes, I still have some time. And the next thing. Uh, the next thing, dear friends, so what is the reason, the reason of insufficient efficiency of activities of this huge uh, governmental apparatus? There are many reasons underlying that. Uh, First and foremost, this is the lack of methodologically acceptable base uh, acceptable for all participants, which would uh, make it possible to coordinate this uh, sphere of activities. And in conclusion, uh, given the fact that we receive our salaries on time and the financial sphere works well, and uh, the problems which arise uh, are solved uh, as they arise, uh, I should uh, thank you all. Thank you. Are there any questions now? Okay, so let us uh, move over uh, to the next uh, um, to the next speaker. That's uh, Yelin Vladimir, associate professor of the Department of uh, State Law and uh, Criminal Law Disciplines, uh, chair of the Plekhanov Russian University of Economics, candidate of pedagogical sciences. Uh, 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 well, after the speeches uh, of the previous colleagues, uh, the only thing which is left for me is uh, to answer questions. Uh, uh, so the question which was uh, asked uh, before, we are speaking about uh, the uh, lapse uh, time uh, and uh, different uh, punishment. Uh, the approaches of different states uh, are different. Uh, in the US, uh, they update their cybersecurity strategy each year, and uh, they derive from the fact that uh, at any time uh, it is us, it is up to us to define the fact of uh, attack uh, on our country in, cyber safe, uh, in cyberspace. Uh, so we decide uh, we have been attacked uh, or hacked, and uh, well, it's up to us to choose the tools, and we can see what tools they sue, they they use. But for us, uh, there is no such law, or there is no uh, legal definition of internet. Mm. 
do you think we, uh, law can save us uh, from the tanks? No, of course not. Uh, it was said that uh, we only have two allies. Unfortunately, the speaker is not really using the microphone. Okay, so we have uh, five minutes, uh, so we are going to be uh, fast. Okay, so uh, there are strategic solutions, um, and at the level of the strategy, uh, Russian strategy, uh, also have uh, this uh, sphere, the sphere. How can I go forward? Can you do this manually with the slides? Uh, we have the technology. And uh, so, uh, of course, uh, there are so many technologies. Um, colleagues, uh, uh, next, uh, in, 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 in the nearest future, we need to uh, work uh, in this um, area with these technologies. <coughs> Next slide, please. Regarding uh, proof, uh, we are somewhere, you know, um, we are dragging behind because uh, there are some countries um, which um, already know that there are no there is no electronic proof of this, and I support your position uh, regarding cyber uh, crime uh, thirty two B. But you should remember that the second section is a possibility uh, to um, apply electronic proof uh, in criminal procedures. Um, and um, in some countries, they already are developed at the level of national legislation. Please, next uh, slide. Uh, okay, so aspects um, of usage. When we speak about digital and electronic proof, um, computer proof, we um, should uh, look at how it works. Um, let's uh, outline these three approaches, legal approach, possibility uh, of uh, including uh, these issues um, in this legal process and uh, some colleagues say that we don't have this in the process and we can't use it in uh, criminal law and in civil law yes we can uh, do this a and tools Alexei uh, uh, we discussed this with you we have proof how can we prove that this is proof and then uh, thirdly organizational these are technologies, and um, it's all based on standards, because um, each uh, technology needs uh, standards. All, st all technologies have standards. That's why um, we need to work with um, legal documents, um, with standards, and so on and so forth. Psychological issues. Psychological issues. Um, uh, mean uh, that um, when we speak about electronic documents, uh, they say that we have um, uh, electronic um, uh, circulation. So, but you say electronic document is something else. Uh, yes, you have electronic um, document circulation, but uh, electronic document is something else. It's different. Uh, and electronic document earlier uh, had an electronic signature, but now. We have the law about the electronic signature, and uh, uh, the law now concerns only about electronic signature. So now electronic signature uh, is um, just information, uh, and um, uh, if you need, you can look at this definition, and now it cannot be, um, you know, like a requisite for uh, this document. Electronic signature cannot be like this. This is also a problem for us. Now, if we start to use electronic signature, Alexei spoke about tools, uh, cryptocurrency tools. Um, uh, crypto, uh, cryptography It's a, a tool. Uh, nothing is um, uh, best than this uh, technology. Technologies like uh, this uh, hash um, function in um, 
in cryptocurrency. Uh, yes, yeah, so there is a standard regarding hash. Uh, cryptography, uh, it's, um, you know, um, federal security uh, services. Uh, so um, it's, um, so you can do uh, all this only through them. Electronic signature um, is also a cryptogra cryptographic tool. Also, um, hashing activity, conversion, converting of information. What's uh, what's uh, happening here? Limitation by law, limits, location, um, applications. Um, please, uh, let's um, uh, let's approach conclusions already. Okay, conclusions. We have to work. We have to um, improve uh, this system. We have new um, new systems like artificial intelligence, new opportunities. And um, of course, I will slow down blockchain technology. We spoke about it. And uh, generally speaking, we understand the tools, but how it will work also is understandable. But how can we implement it into practical legal activities? And we can encounter here several problems. Uh, the main problem here, as I see it, is a psychological problem. If we all cope with psychological barrier, we can use, uh, for example, this proof uh, during the, this uh, process. Um, in this case, we can change uh, uh, legislation and uh, we'll find new technological um, opportunities. Um, in this case, um, uh, this uh, life here in this aspect will be simplified. These are standards you can see on the slide. And uh, please pay attention to this. The standard um, ISO standard is international, but it's also applied in Russia. But if we speak about uh, a uh, special edition standard, this is only American, they are good. Uh, they did this for themselves, but we don't have our own standard, you know, and we need our own standard also. If we adjust this standard, at least, uh, will be also very good. Okay, so uh, the stage of work um, um, with uh, electronic uh, tools um, is important. If you have any questions, I am ready to answer. There are no any questions. And um, now I will invite another speaker, um, Bacharov uh, Sergei, uh, the professor of the uh, Department um, of um, uh, Legal um, um, Institute um, and um, uh, the um, uh, the candidate of legal sciences. Um, he will speak about uh, legal projects. Um, okay, I will be um, here. And uh, if you have questions, you can also ask me afterwards, after, after my, first of all, uh, after my presentation. First of all, I thank um, Alexa, uh, Alexei uh, for this invitation. I'm glad to be present here and participate um, in this um, event. We also have had some joint um, projects um, and we started together, finalized this project together. That's why I, uh, I'm here uh, and I'm glad I'm here. These um, questions, uh, issues which we have now at this forum, which we discuss, um, are quite essential. And these issues are serious. Uh, uh, we need also some dramatic changes of uh, all the whole economic system. Maybe it's not even stepping into the future. I can say that this is like a breakthrough. Uh, and uh, now we are in such a position uh, that we, um, you know, uh, you know, bounce uh, a little bit, um, and um, now we can fly. It's known that um, in uh, any structure uh, there are the real, there are differentiation between people. Speaking about differentiation, uh, this uh, we can speak here about owners, workers, different enterprises, um, and uh, also management uh, by the state. Um, and the specialists um, who now offer implementation of projects uh, in economy. Quite interesting specialist, for example, Mr. Chernyshov. 
and uh, I um, read his um, articles. I uh, also listened to his lectures. Please uh, do the same. In this case, uh, you will understand what what is what, and uh, what should be uh, striving for. So, Mr. Chernyshov, um, uh, he spoke about managers, and uh, he uh, speak about speaks about them as about the agents of market, and um, he can he offers to replace them uh, for appropriate market platforms. These agents of market institutions or managers, or um, we can also um, name them officials, um, and um, we can uh, call uh, them as we want. And maybe it's fair, but still we need to admit that without this state management, we um, cannot uh, solve these issues efficiently. It's uh, close to impossible. We can't solve these issues without it. On the one hand, what's bad in uh, legal state regulation, uh, state participation um, in industry, trade, uh, finances, transport, uh, economic spheres, we um, uh, of course, the market should not regulate everything. The state, the government, uh, needs not only to control, but also intervene and regulate these public um, and, and social relations. But this, um, this um, people who want to have changes, uh, uh, they are quite um, determined. Uh, they say that um, authority and um, its skill uh, to uh, centralize everything now is powerless. Not be because soon we uh, won't have anything to distribute. That's why, why do we need this um, uh, structure which can um, manage uh, public uh, in this way? Uh, we can agree with this only in some way. Only uh, partially I can agree with this. Because for today, um, we have such spheres um, in uh, public uh, life which are linked with providing for different segments of national security, personal, uh, ecological information security. That's why, in my view, um, uh, participation of the state in providing for this um, very important uh, direction security is uh, essential, and this participation is high. Now we're speaking about uh, uh, preservation and reinforcing such institutes um, as uh, Institute of Technological Regulation, Metrology, Certification, Standardization, Institutes um, of Licensing, um, Certification, State Orders, uh, uh, Giving quarter, Quarters, Quotes, Administrative Responsibility, and uh, you can, there are endless, you know, such institutes are endless, which participate in different segments of security. But uh, confirmation of importance of these issues also should be here. For example, let's speak about this uh, tragedy in Novosibirsk when we had this gas explosion uh, in one of the flat in uh, a, and uh, you know, um, uh, it was not certified even, this equipment uh, in this flat. And if state the not, does not control these issues, in this case, um, I will have a lot of such cases. Um, for example, my wife calls me and say, uh, uh, you know, um, guess people come uh, to me and they want uh, to have an agreement um, regarding uh, the gas equipment in our cottage house. And I say to her, we have this agreement. Uh, um, but uh, they say to my wife, uh, if you if we now don't have an agreement uh, right now, uh, we uh, will switch off the gas. Uh, but you know, we have a big dog. And uh, that's why, um, of course, um, uh, they, um, you know, um, uh, were afraid of, the, of this uh, dog. Um, but it's a commercial structure, and they don't have any, even licenses uh, to do this, and they want 
to have agreements with us uh, just to take money from you. And who can save people who are public uh, from these frauds, you know, fraudsters? And yesterday, maybe you know all of this, in Ekaterinburg there was a forum uh, dedicated to cyber, financial cyber security, and the head of the central bank, uh, uh, Mrs. Neobiulina, uh, and uh, Anatoly Aksakov also was there, the first uh, deputy of the Bear Bank, uh, Stanislav Kuznetsov, uh, uh, spoke about this, that in the in Kaspersky lab uh, in um, 2022, uh, uh, the criminals um, uh, took uh, 1.5 billion data in um, uh, a data base of banks. Uh, is it okay? So um, we um, uh, don't have uh, appropriate legal tools, um, and uh, these people spoke about the, this. So uh, we should develop. Um, norms even further just a, a couple of minutes of your time uh, so speaking about loans by credit institutions um, there are some attempts um, uh, to check loyalty of customers um, and they um, also um, for example use chat chatbot in neuro, neuro networks um, so here I should say uh, again that without legal supervision uh, we cannot uh, survive. In China, for example, and it was also outlined at this uh, forum uh, that in uh, China um, uh, to avoid uh, different risk and they use neuro, neuro network very actively all the documents which are prepared with the help of this neuro network should uh, have special uh, marking uh, and people um, who make decisions uh, should understand that this um, artificial intelligence it's not human intelligence artificial and um, the attitude uh, towards artificial intelligence should be a little bit skeptical, you know, because we never know uh, what it can uh, lead us to, where it can lead us to. Thank you very much for your attention. Questions to Sergei? Participants, if you don't have the questions, uh, thank you very much, um, Sergei. Now I would like to give the floor. Uh, to Kapitanitz Yulia, uh, Deputy Department of Municipal um, Management, uh, Associate Professor. Uh, please, microphone. Okay, so please, can you um, switch on my presentation? The topic of my presentation is dedicated to digital economy, prospects, uh, problems um, of digital economy. Digital economy is uh, relevant uh, now, and the uh, pandemic showed it when many processes um, in the area of economic activities, healthcare system, education, interaction of state and business, interaction of state and uh, citizens um, were converted into digital format, and um, it facilitated um, for the development of digital transformation of the government of the state. And if we um, look um, at strategy of development of information, um, uh, pub public, uh, uh, there is a definition of uh, digital economy, but this is not already economic activity. Uh, this already uh, some other kinds of activities uh, which are spread to all um, spheres of development of the state, uh, all spheres of interaction between the state and citizens, uh, the state and legal entities.
In the process uh, of uh, digital transformation of the state, uh, we um, uh, saw new platforms appeared which uh, help um, to interact uh, these uh, structures. For example, also League of Digital Economy, League of Digital Economy, and uh, here there are experts um, uh, who develop um, different uh, directions uh, of activities. For example, this uh, is a group of companies uh, uh, which provide for services in the area of digitalization of services. Digital economy can be seen um, at three levels. Uh, this is a certain platform where um, we have interaction between subjects, buyers and sellers, um, goods and services, um, the market um, and certain spheres of activities of economy. The second level is um, platform and uh, technologies, platform set in, in technologies where we have development of markets, we have competitiveness. And thirdly, uh, this is um, uh, the environment which uh, is uh, which has comfortable conditions for development of platforms and services and efficient interaction of my of subjects of the market and economy in total. The, uh, it's important, um, these are two last um, items are very important for digital transformation of economy in our state. National program uh, includes a digital economy, uh, embracing a, a digital uh, a state administration, despite the fact that uh, there is also a big number of uh, of federal projects. Since we're restricted in time, I will just dwell upon the uh, digital uh, uh, state uh, governance because uh, that's something which affects all spheres of uh, life uh, of our state. The goals of the federal project uh, uh, digital state government governance uh, would be the introduction of uh, digital technologies and uh, platform-based solutions in the uh, state governance and uh, provision of uh, state services, uh, as well as the uh, development and implementation of uh, uh, of the policies, uh, usually agreed uh, policies uh, of uh, 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 CI as uh, states of in uh, the sphere of uh, digital economy. Uh, the OECD experts uh, singled out uh, the uh, following processes, uh, which are of key importance. Uh, that's uh, digitalization and uh, implementation of uh, traditional uh, digital technologies. Uh, 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 that's uh, digital uh, government and digital technologies uh, defining uh, the changes uh, in the state governance. And there is another viewpoint uh, in uh, digital uh, governance. Uh, that's uh, by Gartner Company. That's uh, electronic government, open government, uh, data-centric government, uh, fully digital government, and smart government. It should be mentioned that at every stage, the goals of uh, the government are different. Uh, if uh, we look at the first stage, uh, the main goal here would be to transfer in the digital format uh, as uh, many uh, state uh, services as possible. Then if we look at the third stage, this goal would not be uh, vital anymore uh, because we will uh, face the minimization of the uh, state uh, services and automation of receiving those. So. Uh, consequently, the goals set by the government uh, in the uh, third and in the fourth level will not be significant in the fifth level when a number of uh, governance solutions uh, will be transferred in the digital format and that will be done by digital intelligence precisely. Okay, you have one minute. Here you can see the uh, table uh, comparing uh, different uh, stages of development of digital government. And also, I would like to develop on the problems existing. 
because uh, there is a positive effect uh, from the development of digital economy and digital state and uh, municipal governance, but also there are many uh, issues and uh, negative effects. I will then uh, not uh, speak about digital transformation, uh, but uh, I will uh, go over to different problems and issues. On the screen, you can see uh, target indicators uh, uh, for achieving national goals by 2030. The positive effect is uh, that many procedures of state governance uh, are digitalized. Of course, uh, we speak here about uh, the smart state. I would like to show you now different platforms used uh, not only by citizens, uh, the platforms which we all know, available to individuals, but also there is uh, many platforms for the development of entrepreneurship and business, uh, which uh, gained active development uh, during the pandemics and after it. Apart from the positive effects, since we're restricted in time, I'll just dwell upon the problems and issues. On the one hand, as I said, This is uh, not the main goal uh, to to develop a digital uh, state and develop digital economy and governance. But the uh, final goal is, of course, the effect uh, which the end users will enjoy, individuals and organizations uh, of a certain state, uh, that and they benefit from all those uh, programs. Uh, and on the other hand, uh, uh, the uh, criteria of the efficiency of using these uh, programs and softwares. Uh, but I should say that uh, those uh, criteria are not perfect. Uh, if we look at the efficiency and matrices uh, of efficiency of digitalization of different bodies, uh, we'll look at their scope and time of provision of certain services, uh, how citizens uh, or legal entities uh, assess the quality of uh, services. Uh, there is uh, uh, such criterion as uh, non-discrimination. There is no such criterion as uh, non-discrimination. Let me explain why we got such problem. Uh, that actually came out during the pandemics when uh, individuals uh, or citizens received a different uh, payment uh, payments uh, allocations uh, for children uh, uh, for children under three years old and for children from three to 16 years old. And the problem was uh, that that could only be done uh, by parents and uh, uh, children's uh, tutors uh, could not, uh, uh, did not have the right to do it. Uh, so there is uh, this service, uh, but uh, there is this discrimination. I'll be fast. Uh, the next problem is uh, marking the goods. On the one hand, of course, uh, there is uh, some effect uh, for the state in terms uh, of uh, you know, tax uh, allocations uh, of this entire process. And on the, but on the other hand, uh, the effect was negative uh, in terms of marking uh, drugs, uh, medicines, uh, and uh, there were uh, uh, breaches in supplies. Uh, and also, as long as uh, uh, control uh, cashier equipment is concerned for business. On the one hand, uh, the effect is if uh, is positive uh, when tax bodies uh, receive information instantly. But uh, according to experts' estimate, uh, businesses spend uh, two billion rubles for that uh, to purchase and uh, maintain uh, control cashier equipment. Uh, and uh, thirdly, uh, for courts. I think it's important. Uh, the question arises, how much uh, artificial intelligence can be used uh, for state governance? Uh, for example, in uh, 2012, several thousand of uh, court cases were digitalized in uh, the UK, and now they have launched uh, a pilot project. Uh, they are teaching machines. Uh, or uh, computers to work uh, for judges. 
we do not know what the final effect will be, but I think it's a quite a doubtful idea how a computer will decide uh, whether there are any uh, consequences uh, which uh, might aggravate. Well, I apologize. I think this is such an interesting theme. I think uh, artificial intelligence and uh, uh, court cases and and uh, solving court cases uh, uh, should be uh, the subject uh, for a separate uh, discussion. And uh, that would uh, create a uh, huge uh, agitation among the public, among the audience. Uh, OK, thank you for your attention. Uh, and uh, so there are some uh, positive as well as negative effects. Uh, Natalia Boulay. Has she left? Five minutes. So here is the microphone. Uh, I represent uh, the chair of uh, municipal governance, and uh, I will be speaking about uh, training uh, uh, and uh, professional preparation of uh, state and municipal uh, servants uh, in the conditions of digit digital economy. Uh, this uh, theme is uh, quite vital for today because the decision was made for raising uh, the uh, qualification, improving the qualification of uh, public servants. Uh, in persons in pursuance of the following programs. <clears throat> so the first mentioning about uh, the programs uh, in the uh, digital economy and digital transformation. Uh, uh, one uh, uh, took place in uh, 2018, and uh, they uh, fell in uh, four blocks. So that's digital economy improvement of uh, tax uh, administration and uh, uh, basis of uh, uh, digital governance. And next, uh, I made the analysis of uh, demand for digital uh, economy services uh, in subsequent years. We can see here how priorities changed uh, starting uh, in 2021 until uh, today, 2023. In 2021, we could see clear tendencies uh, for uh, arriving of uh, competences uh, among uh, public servants. Innovative uh, program became uh, the uh, digital transformation leader program, uh, which uh, assumed uh, the arriving of uh, relevant uh, management competences. And uh, in 2022, we could see a clear trend uh, for uh, sectoral specifics. So we got uh, the uh, program. Uh, in the media communications and digital transformation in the use of internet servers. And uh, in this uh, year, 2023, we see the arrival of absolutely new uh, programs of which uh, we did not have uh, previously. And that shows that digital economy uh, is developing and uh, the requirements to civil servants uh, are changing. Uh, the innovative uh, program, uh, which already works, is uh, the uh, program of uh, uh, structures of digital uh, regulations and the analysis of uh, key programs uh, in the area of uh, um, additional uh, professional education and training of public servants uh, uh, disclosed uh, the next uh, program, uh, the next uh, pro problems. Uh, um, updating uh, the content because uh, one of the main ideas uh, is uh, to create uh, one uh, platform of uh, digital uh, courses, training courses. Uh, uh, the next problem is uh, the reduction of uh, cost uh, of uh, uh, those uh, uh, programs. And uh, 
Next, uh, the uh, quantity of uh, purchase, uh, because uh, different number of uh, purchase can be announced uh, on the same type of uh, contracts. Uh, 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 next is uh, creating a single uh, platform of open courses, uh, and that will be based on different approaches. Uh, qualification improvement uh, programs uh, is supposed to be implemented along uh, two aspects uh, along two line, lines. Uh, nothing will be changed on those uh, programs uh, which are being implemented and uh, the planned uh, ones uh, uh, will be initiated uh, by uh, customers, uh, that is uh, state purchase, uh, as well as those initiated uh, by the uh, contractors. Uh, uh, there are 10 uh, proposals and uh, basically with everyone uh, uh, you can uh, speak during the conference. Uh, so uh, I'll say a few words about those. Uh, first, uh, that's uh, mandatory approval of the program with the representatives uh, of state bodies. Uh, if all programs uh, are agreed and approved by the state bodies, uh, we can say that the quality will be higher. Next, um, a single standard of the program. So those are being approved in terms of uh, combating corruption, for instance, uh, uh, the research, uh, which must be implemented as of March this year. But uh, at the same time, uh, there is uh, not, we do not always see a single standard available for uh, each uh, program. And uh, such a uh, uniform uh, standard uh, uh, would uh, make it possible to improve the quality uh, of those programs. Uh, next, uh, this is uh, a totally new uh, proposal, uh, the development of a uh, single content. Uh, what is implied here is uh, that the customer will not uh, place requirements uh, to the content, but only the, to the quality of uh, services provided as well as uh, uh, curriculum. And when we speak about the development of uh, uniform content, that means that the customer would uh, announce a tender for the development of a certain content. And uh, next, uh, the attendees of a certain course uh, would have uh, unrestricted uh, access. We all know how quickly uh, regulations change uh, in terms of uh, combating corruption, for instance. So uh, as uh, they once uh, turn uh, uh, and uh, receive uh, the certificate uh, of improved qualification, uh, they should have access to this database. Uh, next, uh, uh, knowledge database uh, for the uh, professors and uh, teachers. Uh, such uh, professors and teachers would be defined uh, for certain educational institutions uh, who possess a certain uh, set of knowledge. Uh, and uh, another uh, problem is a database of experts. Uh, what is suggested is to create a database of knowledge of experts uh, from the state uh, bodies uh, who uh, might uh, be attracted uh, to the organization of such courses. Uh, in every uh, program, it is recommended uh, uh, to form a block on uh, combating uh, corruption uh, that is uh, mainly in connection with the uh, digital transformation. Uh, the persons uh, who allowed uh, such uh, uh, violations uh, should uh, uh, be included in the list uh, recommended uh, persons of recommend uh, for whom uh, such uh, courses are recommended. Uh, um, the efficiency and performance of uh, such courses uh, should be assessed in accordance with their use, and the starting uh, price of the courses uh, must be defined uh, in accordance with informational portal. And so such portal would have information on all courses available. And as soon as um, a customer uh, has the need for such courses, uh, uh, they would uh, place uh, uh, such uh, uh, request information on such need and the number of persons who would need it and that way the quality and the significance of such courses uh, would uh, raise. Uh, uh, okay, the audience, do you have questions to the speaker? No. Thank you for your attention. The floor is given to Galina uh, Lozovitskaya, uh, a chair of uh, uh, legal uh, disciplines. Uh, 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 Good afternoon, uh, dear colleagues. Um, 
I uh, don't have the presentation because I even uh, did not expect uh, that I will be given the floor. That's why um, um, I don't have the presentation. But um, I can uh, outline um, some uh, issues uh, here regarding this topic because um, our forum is called Stepping into the Future. And the main uh, direction of this forum is um, a techno economy, transformation of platforms. Um, as you can see it uh, on this uh, wonderful poster. And uh, when we speak um, about techno economy, we should understand that techno economy is developing in a certain technosphere. In this technosphere, we have um, uh, all live. And um, how um, safe or unsafe can it be? It depends on a person. It depends on uh, inventors who work um, in this um, technospheres. Um, and all um, technical uh, accomplishments should be aimed at comfort at providing of uh, appropriate level of the uh, government of the public's life of people's life but however the uh, latest uh, the latest technological developments in some cases uh, um, uh, mean something else for example during uh, last years so we can see a pollution of atmosphere and lately also we have uh, encountered uh, such uh, diseases as uh, as quite dangerous like uh, covid infection and some other and it's difficult to encounter them for people in spite of the fact that we uh, have development of all these new technologies um, at a high pace, uh, we can see uh, the um, death, um, a high death rate of um, population. How can we, um, how can we cope with it? Uh, how can we appeal uh, to academics, uh, academicians um, uh, who can uh, work uh, in these areas without risking uh, health of population um, because we have so many um, uh, different pollutants uh, now in the atmosphere because of these accomplishments, scientific accomplishments. I would like uh, to focus on this now. There are some sociological um, research researches. Uh, dedicated to this topic um, and what can we see here we can see that in technosphere of regions uh, we can ha we see dangers and threats linked to transport um, accidents 70 percent of such uh, threats also um, accidents um, of utilities uh, 67 threats, um, fires, um, explosion, 53% of techno threats, incidents on um, electro energy systems, uh, 50% of techno threats. Why uh, do we have such threats? And uh, why um, can't we um, solve them efficiently? It's my opinion, maybe um, some uh, academics won't agree with me, but in my opinion, it happens uh, because uh, these new technologies, uh, those people who develop these new technologies never think about damage, about consequences of these um, new technologies. Um, and um, scientists never think about consequences or don't think about them enough. That's why when we uh, develop some um, uh, scientific uh, achievements, uh, we should uh, first, first, first of all think about their security, especially regarding health of people and environment. For this, we need to develop appropriate indicators um, to conduct appropriate monitoring and research uh, 
or by of international database um, of those um, countries which uh, achieved some uh, um, already results um, and uh, we have a lot of uh, techno disasters uh, which we monitor now for example Turkey uh, we um, you know about all about the strategy and one of the versions of this uh, strategy uh, this is um, uh, testing of a new weaponry uh, which uh, were uh, tested uh, without uh, some preliminary um, uh, calculations and this um, could lead to this um, horrible um, consequences and besides um, this um, proposals which I have already mentioned I would like also to speak about improvement of uh, legal uh, um, legal regulations um, dedicated to improvement of uh, techno sphere that's all what I wanted to say thank you very much Леонид or Alessia who will speak now Alessia Thank you very much uh, uh, for this uh, opportunity to speak. Um, dear participants, I would like uh, to give the floor uh, to the senior um, uh, to the senior professor of um, Russian um, Plekhanov Institute of Economics. Uh, thank you very much um, for this um, opportunity. I would like um, to continue maybe. I agree with the previous speaker about all these threats which you mentioned and I will like to be more specific about them and maybe I will expand uh, to um, understand what uh, uh, we um, have in the future. Regarding possibilities, where uh, do we use uh, this um, I um, uh, mostly am focused on uh, technologies of artificial intelligence first of all now we can see uh, that um, uh, for example these technologies are used in corporates um, uh, analysis of big data in 2017 um, we have this uh, uh, program digital economy and we have all these technologies um, mentioned there and one of them is artificial intelligence but if artificial intelligence is a set of technologies which include uh, maybe all uh, those uh, digital current digital technologies and in total we can have um, uh, this artificial intelligence uh, which we want to create so uh, all this um, technologies um, bank sphere control over financial transactions um, uh, is, uh, is used um, then transport public private schedules um, uh, can be improved and controlled uh, and the uh, security of citizens um, education now um, also we uh, are developing um, open courses um, you can um, have them for free for example uh, step platform and um, also artificial intelligence uh, can uh, allow uh, to consider individual uh, trajectories of students for example if I have a test at some level I can go to the second level but if I fail uh, this test I can still continue to study at the at this uh, level so it means that all our trajectories are individual medicine means analysis of current medical educations um, Mm, and uh, more um, uh, exact um, diagnosis um, if uh, uh, a doctor uh, can uh, be mistaken in 50% of cases uh, artificial intelligence uh, gives 70% of right uh, diagnosis uh, utilities um, control um, and security also we um, there was already the question raised about gas um, uh, threats uh, also we can use it here or for um, uh, not really mobile uh, citizens uh, we can have uh, control over some services uh, the system of justice we spoke about it um, and of course there are some problems um, but a neural network also can um, 
participate in this um, anti-corruption activities. Um, I um, uh, teach the course um, dedicated to this issue, and I, uh, sometimes I ask our students, where do we have this corruption? A person usually has a choice whether he should uh, behave um, um, properly or not. Anti-corruption activity, uh, if we use in the sphere artificial intelligence, there will, we won't have a choice here. There will be an algorithm, and that's all. And it will be fulfilled. Uh, state purchases are the same and social policy. Here also, if we have criteria of um, uh, giving some uh, services uh, regarding social program, and the unbiased um, attitude can be um, also provided uh, through the artificial intelligence. Um, so um, regarding life situations, um, my colleague already mentioned this, that we also use it. And recently, um, uh, Roscom Anadzur um, uh, also um, launched uh, the program, which is called Oculus. Just for comparison, a person can evaluate um, 106 images and 101 video uh, per day, uh, and uh, 200,000 is provided by the program Oculus. It's, you can see a dramatic difference uh, now, threats and risks. Uh, first of all, uh, threats and risks uh, mostly touch upon ethical, ethical area. Uh, can you remember this uh, movie, I'm ro a robot? Uh, and uh, decision making uh, for artificial intelligence um, is uh, who should we say first, a girl or an adult person? And um, this robot saved uh, a policeman as a result. And the girl uh, for our uh, society seems to be uh, quite um, more valuable. And here we have an ethical question how can a robot make decisions in these issues? Uh, uh, un unemployment, uh, we, uh, we ha will have it if, um, for example, artificial intelligence um, is a technology. Alicia, uh, please, um, you don't have a lot of time. Uh, inequality, this, uh, these products uh, uh, which are uh, produced by artificial intelligence, uh, uh, whom uh, these uh, products uh, will belong to? And then, uh, uh, then, um, uh, for example, if now um, uh, do you use um, Alice, uh, Siri programs? Do you use all these programs? Um, and recently, Yandex published uh, how users um, uh, deal with the Alisa program. And even sometimes uh, you people use obscene words. Uh, are these people kind to this? Uh, uh, programs and what about our kids? How will uh, they behave in such situations? Singularity. We speak about these technologies, and if we develop them, but at some point of time, uh, they will uh, develop so quickly that we can't control them anymore uh, because a person is not able to do this sometimes. Um, the rights uh, of artificial intelligence. How uh, can we? Um, uh, are we ready to socialize with the robots? How can we perceive robots? Uh, okay, that's all. I think uh, robots, uh, we won't put, we'll put them in prison. We'll try to do this. Speaking about calculative abilities, if artificial intelligence is worked in search uh, machines, um, it can um, increase um, consumption of power by five times, so we can have um, um, you know, uh, emissions of carbon dioxide um, um, higher by 100 times than a car uh, can have them. Then uh, data leakage. Um, we all say that we need to process, collect data, but what about safety of this data? People don't speak about safety of this data. Even in uh, law and about laws, it's not written about safety. Wrong decisions. Uh, Absence of structure. Okay, I am just coming to the end of my presentation. Thank you very much. Uh, unfortunately, not enough time. Okay, um, what should we do with artificial intelligence? We will have some other sessions uh, soon.
Да, пообщаемся, я вот зайду. Thank <laughs> you. 